Hey, what's up guys? Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you Boardcast on your HTC One. Now what this does is it lets you create a virtual whiteboard that can be accessed by up to 10 devices as long as you're in the same network or as long as they're in close proximity to each other. It is your free download from the Google Play Store, so go ahead and open up your Play Store app and install Boardcast. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you're going to need to do is sign in with Google. And that's just because um, you need to have um, a way for the app to identify your device. You can also enter your information manually if you'd rather not um, sign in with your Google account. All right, now that I've signed in, you can see that you, you have um, your welcome board and that's just the same basic board that comes on every install. What you're gonna wanna do um, first is actually go into your settings because uh, this does display your location. If you don't wanna have that enabled, you go ahead and disable that. And after that, go back to the main page and you can either join a whiteboard or you could create a new one. All right, so now I have the app open on both my OnePlus One and HTC One. And on the HTC, I'm going to go ahead and create a new board. You have three different ways of sharing it. You could share it on your local network publicly so anybody can see it. You could share it using Android Beam so you don't have to be on the same network. Or you could just have it on um, on your own personal device and only invite people based off of um, if they're on your same network. So in this case, I'm just going to name it Test and then have it share publicly on my network. And if you want, you could also set a custom background, but that's only if you want to have a, um, if you want to edit a picture, if you want to just create a basic uh, whiteboard, all you have to do is just hit the next button up top. And then on my OnePlus One, I'll go ahead and hit join. And then you can see here that the test board is available and it'll connect to it. And you can see here that all of the marks are gonna transfer between the two simultaneously so you don't have to worry about any kind of lag everything works um, pretty quickly especially if you're on the same network right now i'm only using two devices but this works with up to 10 so you can go ahead and use those it works great if you're using tablets and this can be used in meetings or if you just need to collaborate with some people on creating a design for something it's a great way to get that done all right guys that'd be it for this video be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below and like always be sure to like comment and subscribe have a good one guys